Good day viewers, welcome back to Final Fantasy 8 Remaster Shadowblade Dragonfang here So we're lowering our voice a bit because Mostly everyone's asleep But never mind that But you know us, we can go a little wild sometimes Just try not to go wild then Sophie just amazing. You sure you can? You sure you can fly this? It can. It just kind of took off. I don't know. It's really easy. I think it, it'll be fine. But there's no guarantee it won't crash. No one can predict the future, right? Sophie, head to S4 Star. She's probably at the Sorceress Memorial. We're going to rescue Renoa. These are the controls. That's what you need to get Bahamut though. And you can just autopilot there. Whoa, it went down. Did you read the controls? I did read it, but it's so hard to maneuver. That was already in the source memorial. You Where? It was color brown. See? Should I fix my team? Yeah, I can fix it outside, I think. Oh, I can, but I can't pick Renoa. She's inside. Perfect. Great place of Estar. Go up. I think there's a draw point there. No, keep going up. Oh, there is. Stop. Stop moving. That's not what I meant. You want to see your comrade off? I'll make an exception. Go ahead. Thank you. So I have to crash the party. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. To do what I should have done earlier. I'll never know unless I do it. What are you talking about? I know what I want and I want to have to do. There's still a chance. I'm not gonna look back. I'm taking it all with me. What? You must be joking. It's too late. Squall. Come on, go. Use force if I have to, right? You know what? Hold on, I'll get you out of, out in a sec. I'm gonna get a bunch of that? What am I supposed to do? Come on! You know what? Cut it open. Right? That's the only way. Squall, don't. I'm a sorceress. I don't care. You know what, Squall? Let's go. Oh, seriously? You know that guy? Is it Ward? 
Ah, very sharp. Yep, it's Ward, all right. It's not speaking, and it's very big. That man. I've seen him before. Why Ward just let them go? He has a strong connection to Laguna, remember? What's wrong, Renoa? I'm just a little embarrassed. Why? I was so set on staying in, staying in Nestar. But then you guys rescued me. It made me so happy and... No need to be embarrassed. Yeah, happy is good. Thanks, everybody. Squall, you're awfully quiet. What's up? I have a lot. I have a lot in my mind. As an expert, Squall's observer, he's thinking, "What do we do now?" Blah blah blah. If you think and worry too much, everything tends to turn bad. Squall, why don't we just picture a brighter future? Whatever. But seriously, what do we do from here? I'm not re really sure, but... Don't we have something about that lunatic Pandora and Nestar? After all, the Galbanian's controlling it. Which means Cypher is behind all this too, right? Cypher is Ultimatia's puppet. Yeah, and that Ultimatia. We can let that sorcerer from the future mess up our world. Let's go kick her. We're seeds. We're here to destroy the sorceress, right? Zell. Sorry. There's one sorceress here. So, so Squall, where are we going? Um... Can we go to the opener you guys were talking about in Trivia? That place is in shambles. There's nothing to see there. I want to stay away from places where there are lots of people. I'm a sorceress. If Ultimate possesses me again, let's go. Head to Adia's house. But don't tell me you can maneuver this right. How do you know? I should have known. That's inset right down. Now we can maneuver this round. I have the one to be piloting this. Oh look! All inside out! I already have Orin. And the Sunberry as well. There's the force of trouble. Angelo Follow Angelo Doggy Ah the this is good this is a very good What See this this bruise here I had to put up with the Novas He can punch for you so seeing you two like this makes it all worth it. I'll go get Renawa. We should have her on your team to begin with. So what should I do? what should I talk about about when Renova gets here? Nothing about the sorcerers, huh? I'm sure she's trying not to think about it. Who cares? If the sorcerer is right, you don't care either, do you? You know it's just Renoa. Bark bark. What will become of me? 
Don't worry about it. There's been many good sorcerers. Idea was one. You can you can be like her. But the day is still I can't guarantee anything either. If Ultimation possesses me again. You saw me. She controlled me in outer space and made me break Adele's seal. What might happen next time? What will I end up doing? Will I end up fighting everyone? Scary thought, isn't it? Renoa. Even if you end up as the worst enemy, I'll I'll be your knight. I guess it certainly needs a knight, huh? I guess so. If I fall under Ultimate's control again, she she will come kill me, right? And the leader of seed is you, Squall. Squall's sword will pierce my heart. I guess it's okay if it's you, Squall. Nobody else. Squall, if that ever happens... That's enough. I'll never do anything like that. The sorceress I'm, uh, I'm after is not you, Renoa. My enemy is the sorceress from the future, Ultimisha. Ultimisha lives in the future and possesses me. She uses my body to her extension in this world. How how will you save me? I'll come with up with something. There's gotta be a way. Don't worry, trust me. I trust you. Well, until you find a way, maybe. Maybe I should stay in Esther at that memorial. Wouldn't that be better? No, uh, that'd be pointless. I'll just end up going after you again. You know what? Just stay close to me. Oh. Those words. What? That's what started everything. What are you talking about? You don't remember? Something I said? Oh, just forget it. No, it's because of the... Guardian Force, that's why I forgot <laughs> using his excuse. That's just an excuse. Well, truly. Feeling better? Yeah. Can I tell you a story? I had a dream. It was a scary dream. We make a promise. We promise to see shooting stars together. I got dressed up and you put on your ring. But the thing is, I can't remember where I'm supposed to meet you. I start to panic. I didn't want to see you, Squall, but I don't know where to go. I start running through the mountains, the desert, the plains, through timber, Balab, and Galbenia. Wow, you got strong legs. When I realize I run, I can't run any longer, I just want to see you so badly. So I scream, Squall, where are you? Then I woke up. I was crying. I'm sorry. Slip and screen. You don't have to say anything. I just felt like I had to tell you. It was just a dream. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. I guess you're right. How about this? I'll be here. Why? The reason why... Why would you couldn't find me was because we haven't made that promise yet. Well... Promise? I'll be waiting for you. If you come here, you'll find me. I promise. It'll be here too. It's a promise. Thanks, Qual. Next time we'll meet for sure. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but it's an emergency. We got a radio contact from the Estar Presidential Palace. Oh, it's. They have to plan to defeat Ultimation. They want to hire C to execute it. Might be a trap to renew it back in Estar. Oh, and uh, the guy we spoke to, his name's Keros. Could he be that Kiros? Kiros in the Star Presidential Palace. He wants to hire us? 
Alright, let's go. I gotta fix my team, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. You didn't see that? See what? Adelia! Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, seriously. Squall. There is something I must tell you. It's about me. That point you to everything? Again? No. Yes, I believe it was 13 years ago. This is when my story began. I first became a sorceress when I was a child. And once again, 13 years ago. That day, right here, I encountered a sorceress on the verge of death. I received her power on my own will. That sorcerer was an entity of fear for my children. I could not let her get them, but it turned out to be a beginning of a painful my of my painful story. At the very minute, my bitter story has ended. I now understand there is an, an end, no matter how painful it may be. Therefore, Squall. You must fight to the end, even though it may bring tragedy to others. Now go, Squall. Can fix it outside? Yes, I can. Alright then. Okay, I'm all set. Now, can I autopilot there again? No, it's... Star Air Station. That's where you need to go. This one? Yeah, that one. Just a reminder, you can do that looking for Bahamut's area. I don't even know where it is. I'm going to tell you when the time has come to fight him. He said Reflex not gonna work on him this time. It doesn't work at all. You have to use your own way of defeating him. Land there. See that tower? Go in front of it. That. Hey. Try to card battle. Try to card battle Laguna. He is not random easy. Just don't use the rules you have now. Is it here? Well, go to Presidential Palace. I don't even know where it is. Remember where Renault was set down? That's Audience Laboratory. <laughs> Look at that SR soldier run. Right? <laughs> Running inside. That's entrance to the city. You need to go in deep inside. That's the presidential palace. Straight, right? Straight. If you see a weird looking Esther soldier, don't talk to it. Okay? Okay, I won't. Because if you do, an Ella might spawn. Spawn. Just keep going? Yeah. That way. This way I am? Yeah, that way. See? You're there already. See those Hesta soldiers? I do. They don't use the rule you have right now. Or he'll be random. So what am I gonna do? Keep talking to him? Well, card battle him when you met him. That's not where he is. Ward. Kiros. And that's probably... What else do you think? Oh, 
What's up with, with this country? Oh, sure. Hey there. Been wanting to meet you guys. The guy is the one who were inside my head, right? I don't told me. It was like there was some kind of waves running through my head. They gave us much power during battle. We thought there were some kind of fairies flying over us. So I'm Laguna, President Laguna Lore of Estar. Pleased to meet ya! If we weren't in a state of emergency, I'd like to talk some more, but... Well, whatever, let's talk. What do you want to know? You'll never get going if President Laguna keeps talking. So why don't you guys throw out some questions and he'll try to answer them? Should I card battle him now? Yeah! Look like you know the rules that aren't from around here. Let's go in with Balam's rules and ours. Oh, Balam's rules. Open. Oh. Okay. Alright then. Yeah, there. Guys, open her spread to this region. I'll be right back because this will take a while. Now we're done with that. Man, you look way too serious. Uh, where's the loan? What? What? What are he done to his life? Don't you wonder? When Alone was about 2-2, two, two, there was a massive hunt for girls in Estar. Estar came to Windhill and Ellis Baron resisted. They were killed on the spot. The massive hunt was to find a successor for Estar's ruler, Sorceress Adele. Alone was raised by Rain, who lived next door, and I came to know her. Then there was another massive hunt for a successor in Estar again. The other was taken away even though I was there. It's the most painful episode of my life. So I rescued her and sent her to Windhill. Shortly after that, Rain died. And alone was sent straight to the orphanage. Why did Why didn't you go back to Windhill with her? I wanted to. But I had my reasons. I found out found out about this afterwards, but the reason why Alone had to leave the orphanage was because of her special power. Doc Alden wanted to do some research on Alone's special power. He looked for her everywhere. The owner of the orphanage were C. Kramer and his wife Adea. You know, know them better than I do. The Kramers took Ellen out of the orphanage to protect her. They prepared a big ship to accommodate her. Precious of them, huh? After a while, the ship turned into another orphanage. Ella looked after all the kids. She said her life on the ship was a happy one, but who knows? I don't know if she could have been happy on the ship. She was on the ship for over 10 years. The ship was attacked by Galvenia recently. Esta ship rescued them and she finally met up with me. It was pure luck that we found her. I was out in space at the time. Alone followed me out to space. Little Ella was all grown up. When she told me everything... Did she get back safely from space? Our escape pod rescue team was a little late. Alone was taken into custody by Gal Galbania. She's inside Lunatic Pandora. We're gonna rescue her. Help us out, okay? Phew. Well, keep telling him. 
tell me about Rain story Some other time maybe No I can't It's too much for me to remember Huh? Well It is a uh, something You don't wanna know You know I've been doing all my life right? You were a silly Galvania soldier I didn't like your attitude at all But I understand the bond between the three of you then you charge after when to win him. Then alone was adopted by a star and you went on a journey. A journey to get alone back. You wrote an article and appeared in movies to get by. You were trying to find a way into a star. You somehow got into a star and rescued alone. I got a lot of help along the way. What I don't understand, why are you the president? Wanna know, it's a long story! Should I hear it? Maybe you should! You wanna hear it? Really? Okay, I'll tell you! I only set out to rescue alone, but of course that wasn't the end of the story. It's a country ruled by Sorcerer's Adele, with the ingenious yet inhuman Odin. Both of them were interested in alone. We couldn't just pack up and leave. Adele will be angry. My reason will be kaput. Other only thought about his research. I don't know. But while researching under Adele's order, he was still making any many inventions. It was a device to seal magic, sealing sealing facility. Maybe Adele can be defeated. I owe a big favor to Adele's assistant who helped me rescue alone. I spoke with my comrades. Two issues came up. First, stopping the crystal pair from calling monster from the moon and destroying everything like what happened in Sentra. Second, feeling, freeing Esther from Adele's hands. We plan and plan based on my brilliant ideas, of course. Back, back in the Lunatic Pandora Research Facility. There is only one goal. Following all this instruction, we operate the panel and move the crystal pillar. We set course on the stop point in the ocean and goodbye. Whoa! That was easy, but we're, we're, we were found out. So we gathered the final battle to lure Adele. The Sorcerer's Adele, unsealed. He was not sealed yet. Adele appeared as we expected. What is going on? We hunted down the culprit who moved the crystal pillar. Where? Inside there, Adele has been taken hostage. I knew she would go in right away if I mentioned alone. You thought I would fall for that trick? I didn't realize that alone was a hologram, but it was too late. Yeah, of course. 
My plans are always perfect. Cross war now. Wow, that actually work. Haha, <laughs> piece of cake. That actually work? Adele was kinda. She may be a starter, but after all, she was human. We succeeded. But we couldn't keep such a dangerous sorceress around as a trophy. So we had to do something. So we decided to send her far, far away. Someplace very far into outer space. So that way the Ragnarok came to play. Actually, there are three of them. Three well. Ragnarok. Yep, three Ragnarok, alright. We knew it would work though. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. And that about wraps that part up. But the real work began after that. A fierce debate in and news about who should govern this country after Adam was gone. I was paying close attention to why they made me up to the hero of the revolution, so I ended up being the president. Adin made a lot of noise about wanting to go research on alone. It's a mistake to send Adam back alone back to Rain. Rain died and Adam was sent to the orphanage. If I had gone to Windhill with Ella, I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Rain was dead, alone missing, my job kept me busy. I was left here thinking about this and that and before I knew it, all the time has passed. Well, that's about it. Top. Ah, straight to the heart of the ma matter, just like a workaholic scene. Is it my turn? Yeah, make it short to easy to understand. I will talk however I want. Alright, uh, Sosa and Demi told me everything. Sosa's ultimate share come from the future to possess the sorcerer of present day. Meaning she leaves her body in the future and send only her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? It's like when alone send our consciousness back to the past. You're a smart one. My first guess was that someone in the future where the ability to alone was sending the sorcerer back to their ta our time. But no, that is not the answer. How does the sorcerer come back to this time? You want to hear how? Eh, I kept it a secret to surprise you. Is it because of me, Odin? I researched alone powers long ago. I made the pattern from the electric current running through alone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanize. It may only be a toy right now, but the time of Ultimisha is an impressive working machine. Which means there is a machine which imitates Elon's power. Is it who made the first model of them that machine? I named the machine Junction Machine Alone. It is a wonderful thing to how the, my invention is used to for this future. Junction Machine Alone. That's about it. So Sosa Sotomisha came to know about alone from the machine that machine. And Ellie became Ultimisha's target. You can't blame you can't blame Odin, it's useless. You want to go outside, you want to be fisticuffs? Okay, we continue the story. Let's see. There's only one one way to defeat Ultimisha, you must kill her in the future. There's nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There's no way to jump into the future under normal circumstances. But there is, is still a way. Is it because Sosa's Ultimisha's plan to compress time? 
compressing time with magic, but could we do the sorcerers to compress time? There, there may be say many reasons, but it doesn't matter. Let's just figure out what Ultimi is up to. In order for Ultimi to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a sorcerer from the present. But the machine may have a limit. Ultimi she probably needs to go back to further in time to achieve time compression. Only alone can take her back to the further into the past. That is why she is definitely seeking her. We must take advantage of Elon's power. There are two sorcerers in our time, Sorcerer Renoa and Sorcerer Adele. Of the two, Adele is not awakened yet. Once the generation is complete, neither Laguna or Nara will be saved. Sorcerer Adele is probably in the process of awakening inside Lunatic Pandora. What if she will want to possess Adele if Adele wakes up? That will be a horrible event. Adele is a horrible sorceress. If Adele continue wins over Ultimisha, Adele will be the first to destroy this era. You must use sorcerers and Renoir to inherit Ultimisha's power. That's for the mission briefing. First, go to the Nautic Mandora and I'll probably help Captain inside to rescue her first. Then kill the sorcerers as before the awakening process is complete. Now let's level with Renoa as the only sorcerer on this era. Then wait for Ultimate to possess Renoa. Then Ultimisha arrives in Elon's turn. Elon will send Renoa back to the path with Ultimisha. Elon will have to send Renoa and Ultimisha inside another sorcerer she knows in the past. Adele or Adele, that is up to Elon. Once Ultimisha is in the past, she will use the time compression magic. We will see some influence here. I don't know what kind of influence, but once Elon feels it, she will cut Renoa and Ultimisha off from the past. Renoa will come back to this world. Ultimisha also gets goes back to her own world. I will be left in the time compression world. Past, present, and future. We will all get mixed together. You will keep moving through the time compression towards the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimisha's world. It's all up to you. You have to that. So you were brief about the mission. I don't really understand it either. Will you do it? Okay, let's do it. Alright. Alright! Let's go! We'll get aboard Ragnarok. Let's do the final briefing in there. I always want to ride that thing. Plus the name sounds so cool! There they go. Alright. Everyone? From here, we go straight to our final target, Ultimisia. Let's get over that plan again. First, enter Lunatic Pandora and rescue alone. Next, you fight Sorcerer Adele. You'll be surprise attack. Show no mercy. Now, here comes the tricky part. Adele will need to pass on her power before being defeated. Renoa, will you be willing to accept them? Yes. Good. Next, we wait for Sorcerer Adele to possess Renoa. It'll be hard on you, Rino, but will you do it? Yes. That's the spirit. Then alone sends Renoa, Renoa and Ultimisha to the past. Alone brings back Renoa. Then head to the future through compressed time. Ultimisha lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. There's only one way to make ourselves exist in that world like that. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friends' existence and they'll also believe in yours. To be friends, to like one another, and love, love one another. You 
can't do these things alone. You need somebody. Right, guys? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being that place with all your friends. One time compress begin? Think of that place and try to get there. That's all. That place will welcome you. You'll be able to get there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission and the cars to believe it. It's all about love, friendship, and courage. I'm counting on you guys. Love and friendship. And all that sounds corny, but, ev but everyone seems to be up for it. You think, you think it'll succeed? We'll try. What happened? Like cramp. Well, this is it. I'm out of time. It's time for Bahamut and Cactuar. I'll do the next part. Okay guys, we'll go to the next part. In this part of the video, we're gonna go to the where Bahamut and Hector is, but that's fun. I hope you enjoy. So, shall we and continue the next part of the video? Goodbye. See ya.